everyone, this is Arlene with a video for My Favorite Things. In this video, I will show you how to put together the perfect pinwheel dynamics. But first, let me show you the card that I created using the perfect pinwheel dynamics and stamp set. And I made this circle card. And here's the dynamics right here. And I actually uh, put this together with a brad and some hot glue, and I'm going to show you exactly how I did that. The stick that I adhered to the back of the pinwheel is actually a shish kebab stick <laughs> or a skewer. Um, and then here's the sentiment. I used the banner or the fishtail banners from the first uh, award ribbon dynamic set. I have some tool here. You'll see that I used the solid bracket border die back there. And then I put some bling and then there's a uh, Dizzy Doily Dynamics from the duo set. It's the larger of the duo. And then the paper collection that I'm using is some basic gray um, Nook and Pantry from my hoarding stash. <laughs> and here's the inside of my card. And over here I use the Dynamic set that comes with the You Move Me uh, Dynamics and Stamp set. And then here's a Framed Greeting uh, Dynamics. And then I stamped a sentiment from the Perfect Pinwheel stamp set, which is when I'm down, you turn me around. And then I added some bling, and then you'll see again I have the Dizzy Doily um, behind there, and it's the larger of the two from the duo set. So let me show you what the pinwheel dynamics looks like. It looks like this. It doesn't look like much at first, but um, we're going to go ahead and assemble that together. Now I'm going to use uh, more of my basic gray um, nook and pantry paper and I love it because it's double sided and when you create the pinwheel it actually shows both sides of the design paper so you want to use a uh, double sided design paper so I chose two different patterns here now I'm going to go ahead and go to my big shot and I'm going to go ahead and die cut this I'll be right back okay I'm back and this is what I have if you're using a big shot you're going to use the multi-purpose platform with all tabs closed. You're going to put your cutting plate, your Dynamics die cut side up, your paper, and then your second cutting pad and run it through. And um, here's what I have. I ran it through twice, right? One with one design paper and I ran it again with a different design paper. Now what I want to go ahead and do, and we're going to do this <clears throat> exactly like this, but we are not going to use a brad. I'm actually going to use um, my Cristazzi crystals from Michaels and I'm going to use this little brown button on the center so we're going to be using hot glue to put this all together now what I like to do <clears throat> just to make it easy now um, you obviously get three different center pieces with the dynamics as you can see here you have the circle the flower and then this rugged uh, ragged edged one and so I'm actually going to use the flower and the um, round. I'm not going to use the jagged edged one. And I will probably, I'm just thinking here how I'm going to layer it. I might do there, I might do that. Okay, I think that'll look nice. Okay, so I'm going to use those two pieces. Now, with the two pieces that you have cut out of the pinwheel, what I do is, if you look at the pinwheel, there's a hole in the center because that's where you um, would typically insert a brad to put everything together so it would spin. Um, but what I'm going to do is, because it's basically for display purposes, it's going to be going onto a card, is just line it up so that you can see the little hole in the center. And I know it's difficult to see here because um, it's not very clear. But you want to make sure you just center, center it so the little holes on the side of that um, of each um, wheel or each part of the pinwheel is kind of equal as you can see. I don't know if you, can, you guys can see that but I like to kind of make sure that the gaps are equal. When I see that I have it in kind of sort of the spot that I want to have it in I'm going to use my Tombow uh, Mono Aqua adhesive and I use this because once you put the glue down it doesn't stick it gives you time to move it around now if you use the Scotch quick dry adhesive, which is typically my favorite adhesive, um, it dries fast. And so it doesn't give you much time to uh, 
wiggle it around to get it into the spot that you want it at. And then once I got it in the center, I'm just going to push it down. Now what you want to do, and this can be difficult to see because of all the different patterns. <clears throat> what I want to do is I want to make sure this skinny flap is on top all the way around the pinwheel. So as you can tell, the skinny flap over here is in the back. I just want to bring it up front. And I just do that by just layering it up like that. Okay, now this is up. Now I want to bring this one in front. This one's in front. Now I want to bring this one in front. Okay, so now you see I have all of the little skinny um, pieces up on top. Okay, now I'm going to grab my hot glue. And be careful not to burn yourself. You can use quick dry um, adhesive, but the hot glue dries a lot faster for me, so I prefer to use it. Now basically what you're going to be doing is you're going to be lining up the hole on this little tab with the hole in the center, if you can see that. And what you're going to do is you're just going to flip it over like so, and you're just going to hot glue it so that the little um, holes line up into the center. Okay? So I'm going to go ahead and put, and I'm using my fine tip Sherbonder um, glue, hot glue gun. I love this thing because of the fine tip, and it's um, really easy to detail work um, with this hot glue gun. Okay, so now I'm just going to put an itty bitty piece of hot glue there, and like I said, I'm just going to fold over the little tab. I'm going to hold it down with my left thumb, and I'm going to go ahead and fold down. <clears throat> Sorry, losing my voice, guys. Um, the next one, and I'm just going to hold that down. There's still a little bit of hot glue from the last, um, the last one, so I'm not going to add. Okay, now I need more hot glue. So and then I'm going to put some hot glue on top of that. And then I'm going to bring down the next tab. Okay, so everything is just going to kind of go right on top of each other, okay? And just careful not to burn yourself. Now if you were using a brad, you would basically just line up and stick the brad through each of these holes to assemble your pinwheel. Okay, and then I'm just going to kind of curl everything up so it's rounded. Okay, as you can see how it comes out perfect like that. Now what I'm going to go ahead and do and this is going to flatten just a little bit because I'm going to have the center on here. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and layer these two together. And I'm just going to use my Tombow Mono Adhesive again. Okay, and just line up the holes so you can get it right on, on the center, like so. Okay. And then I have my brown button, and then I have a Cristazzi bling, and I'm just going to get my glossy accents. And I like to use glossy accents on my embellishments because it's got a fine tip and also it dries pretty fast. And once you adhere something down with, like, especially metals or buttons or anything of the sort, even lace, uh, when you use the glossy accents, it's not going anywhere. It won't come off. So if you're mailing a gift or something, you don't want your embellishments falling off. So I'm just going to go ahead and add just a little dab of glossy accents. And then I'm just going to put my Cristazzi bling right in the center. And then I'm going to use hot glue. and just add my button right on the center. Okay, just like that. Now for the adhesive of choice, when I center it there, I like to use my boosters from Jody. I'm just gonna set one in right there. And I like to actually use two because the centerpiece sits a little bit high. I don't want to smush the um, the pinwheels, but it's it's a preference. I just like to let, have it sit high, and then I just set that right in the center. Okay, just like so. 
and that is your pinwheel. It's really easy, you guys. And then I don't have any skewers on me, but if you do have a skewer, and I don't know if you guys can see back here, but all I did was just break the skewer. Um, I just cracked it in half, and then one of the edges, the edge up here, was actually um, rough, so I just wrapped some scotch tape around it so I wouldn't hurt myself while I was putting it together. And then I just glued it down onto the back of the pinwheel using my hot glue gun. So that's it. So super fun and such a unique die to work with. So check out MFT at mftstamps.com. And thanks for watching, everyone. Bye.